Eh? Welcome back to some more Pokemon Emerald. In the last episode, we made our way up north from Sleepport. And we started in exploring around. We ended up in the Trick House and spent a bit of time there. And we're going to continue onward. Cool Pokemon in the grass around here. Neat. Alright. So we've got a big fight coming up that I'm a little nervous about, to be honest, because I don't know how it's going to go. But, you know, we'll see. Uh, yeah, it's been a little bit since I last recorded. So it might be a little bit rusty, it might be got, gotten a couple of things. So, uh, forgive me for that. If that comes up. Uh, such as, does Dog have a water move yet? No. But, Eric should be super effective with double kick. Uh, let's go for that. Even though, uh, Jesse was it? God, I've really forgotten everything, huh? <laughs> yeah, even though Jesse's kind of a high level, then, you know, say Eric here. Um, I would like to keep Jesse in the front until we get them to evolve, because it's gonna be coming up soon, surely. Hey, level 18. I don't remember if that's it or not. Let's see, and an electric. Uh, I'm gonna use Doug, uh, Daisy for, not Doug. Alright, um, another claw, I guess. Is that bad against electric, uh, against electric types? Oh, and I'm not sure if... Uh, I don't think we ran into any before. This is the only other ele new electric type introduced in this game. Uh, aside from Plusso and Minin, who we saw, I believe, last episode? Yeah, this is the only other one, and... I don't know, like, don't get me wrong, he's great. Just, his design doesn't do much for me, personally. So, I just... I'm just not the biggest fan, personally. Nothing wrong with him, but just... Yeah. And so... Uh, that's why I'm thinking we'll probably avoid having any electric types in the team, despite me normally liking to have at least one. Alright, uh... Do we have Paralyzed Heals? Yes, we do. Good. Let me throw out to buy some more. Now then, let's continue on, shall we? And it's May! Hi, ah, Ruby. Long time to see. Uh, while I was searching for a Pokemon, my Pokemon grew stronger. So, how about a little battle? Here we go. I remember this fight being pretty tough, in that I remember struggling on this a few times. Alright, start off just using confusion here. Let's see. Ooh, that does a lot of damage to Jesse. We ought to swap out. Well, I do know that this thing shouldn't have any more than absorb. But, oh, it's a couple levels higher actually, so maybe. Maybe not right that's land one by then. I don't know. That is Metal Claw. I, I'm not too familiar with what steel hits, and that. Like, I'm used to fighting a lot of them, I'm not used to using a steel type very much. Obviously that's not very good, so let's go for... Okay, so that Marsh... She, sh she sent out Marsh Dump. there. Getting all my words mixed up. Um, I'm gonna swap to Doug, I think. Because I don't see that ending well at all. I'm not sure. I think we resist. Yeah, we do, but I still did over 10 damage. Alright, let's absorb, and it's quite effective, so we should do some decent damage here. Not great, not terrible. A couple more of those, and we should be okay. Also, for some reason, it's going for a water gun, even though Mudshot did way more. Like, between being part water and part grass, I'm pretty sure we resist it, double resist that. 
It's a silly choice by me. But I mean, I guess she's not like a trainer in the sense of like, to, to fight things. She's more of a trainer to just like, catch stuff, I think. Yeah, marched on. Is down. Doug gained a level. And she's about to thin out Slugma. We're gonna go for Daisy. I know we I think we're gonna be weak to the fire moves. Wait, Slugma? Didn't she have a Torkoal last? Did she replace it? That's bizarre. Oh, damn it, we missed Rock Tomb. I was thinking... Okay, it's neutral. Okay, there we go. We landed Rock Tomb. And it's a one-shot. Hell yeah, Daisy. I'm about to use Lombre. I'm gonna go back into Jesse, but I'm gonna swap back out again. And we're gonna go from there, I think, to Eric. And we have Peck as well. Which is super effective. One more of those and we should take care of this Lombre. Unless the ground affects us too much. I don't know. Thank goodness, no. He took care of me! We've pretty minimal damage taken overall. Career level 17. Yikes, you're better than I expected. You've been busy training too, haven't you? I mean, you deserve a reward. This is from me. And we've obtained the item finder. Nice. That's an item finder. Try it out. There's an item that's not visible and emits a sound. Okay, Ruby, let's meet again. That's a little silly coming from me, but I think you should train a lot harder for the next time. After wiping the floor of us, she reckons we should get good. Alright. Uh, we're just about 20 health, so I meant to hit down there. Yeah, we've got a couple potions to spare, so... I don't know, I would never really use these potions in combat at this point. I'm just gonna use these potions now to save us from running all the way back home. Um... And I suppose I ought to... Hope for that. Uh, item finder. I'm buried around here. Alright, we got a great ball. Nope, no response. Right, we've run into a wild mining. I'm just gonna run away at this point. Yep, there's an item. I'm gonna guess up here. See a boat one? Just one look, please. Okay, full throttle time. Can't, if you can't groove, you get left behind. Alright, so they're sending out Lombre and Electrike. This is Jesse and Daisy. The two that we're currently focusing on in the hopes of having them level up before the next gym. But I don't know if that's going to be the case. Um, I think first I have to get rid of Lombre. Just because of, uh, Absorb might do some damage to Daisy? I'm not sure. Oof. Our defense is lowered a little bit. That's not great. Could be the start of the... Oh, there we go. Lombre Lynch. Uh, Lombre Flinch. Blur. <laughs> Confusion, the Electrike, and Headbutt the Lombre to finish it off. Oh damn, that's some good damage. Please hit yourself. Ow, that would have been cool. Alright, Lombre's down. And so that is the second Pokemon, a Nuzleaf, which... Jesse can't actually hurt, so that's gonna be up to uh, Daisy here. Alright, Electrike's down. That's out of Voltorb. Okay.
Alright, confusion to volatile, because that's all you can do. And headbutt the Nuzleaf. Hell yeah, Nuzleaf is down. Wolf Screech on Daisy, so... She might take a bit of damage now from his tackles or whatever. Probably not much still, but... A little bit, you know. Might be... Might do it a tiny bit. Or it'll just tackle Jesse. I even bother screeching Daisy then. Oh well. With that, we have defeated them both. I want to complete my collection. You got into the groove, alright. Yeah, we got a decent amount of money from that. I'm collecting match call registrations too. Great! We now have collected Edwin in the Pokenev. And we found a revive. Excellent. I'm gonna quickly use up another couple potions here. Since we did take a few hits, I also realized I went the wrong way. I could have just gone. Yeah. Alright, my bad. Response. Another wild mining that hopefully we can just run away from. Response. Alright. Alright, let's do another double battle, shall we? I foreseen your intentions. I cannot possibly lose. Very fun, but I fell off cycling road. I'll go with my embarrassment by battling with you. Okay. Another double battle. There is a few more double battles in this game than I than I originally thought. I think Ruby and Sapphire didn't have that many. Uh, and then Emerald actually bumped up the number, so that way it was actually, uh, you know, it actually felt like they were a pretty common feature. Granted, most of the ones that we've run into so far have been optional, or, you know, possible to fight one after the other. Nice, one shot the Abra. Unfortunately, I think I think Magma is just gonna be a pain because I'm pretty sure. Actually, maybe is Rock good against Steel? I want to say it is. Maybe it's the other way around. I think so. Or maybe I'm confusing Rock and Ground or something. I don't know. I figure it's worth trying. Nope, not very effective. All right, my bad. But hey, lower the speed. Oof, a critical. Alright, and there we go. Took took a few attacks, but we got there. Just screw level 19. And they're defeated. Failed to prophesize my own demise. Oops, I ended up losing. Got a fair bit more money. And we found an elixir. Hell yeah. I'm guessing in here. There we are, another Pokeball. Response. Response. Oh, we got some more berries we can grab over here. No, no berries. Everyone who plays Pokemon Go is probably very familiar with these. In this game, though, uh, obviously, those sort of things that Pokemon Go does, where, you know, makes it so that they don't struggle as much to get out of balls. I believe in this one, obviously they didn't have that sort of thing, so it's just an ingredient for Pokeblocks in this game. Hell yeah. Some more Nana Berries. Gonna grab this item, and hey, we finally made it to Mallville City. We have Pokemon Center right here. Oh, 
Nice. All right. Uh, we're gonna explore a little bit, and then I think we'll save. Uh, Run and grab one, shake up your soul. Bridal cycles. We're just gonna check this and maybe one other thing now, and then call it an episode, I think. Well, well, what have we here? A most energetic customer. Me? You may call me Rydal. I'm the owner of this cycle shop. Your running shoes. They're awfully filthy. You come from far away? I guess so, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you came all this way from Little Root? My goodness, that's ridiculously far. If you had one of my bikes, you could go anywhere easily while feeling the gentle caress of the wind. I'll tell you what, I'll give you a bike. Oh, wait a sec. I forgot to tell you, there are two kinds of bikes. They are the Mach bike and the Acro bike. Sometimes want to feel the wind with their bodies. The bike is for those who prefer technical rides. So sweet, I think you can choose whichever you want. I'm gonna go with the Mac bike, I think. So that we can really get some speed going. If you actually switch bikes, just come see me. My bike's not work here. Anybody know how to ride your bike? There's a couple handbooks in the back. Alrighty. Cool. Now that we have a bike, we can get around a bit faster. I'm gonna go ahead and register that instead of the item finder. Yeah! Now we got some real speed! And the other thing I want to check out while we're here. Oh, Uncle, please. I want to challenge this gym and see how much better I've become. Please, may I, please? Now hold on, Wally. Since you start living with Pokemon, you've grown quite a lot stronger. But don't you think you're pushing it to suddenly challenge the gym? I'm not pushing it. If I combine forces with Ralts, we can beat anyone. Oh, hi, Ruby. I've gotten a lot stronger since we met. Ruby, I want you and my uncle to understand that. Ruby, please, will you have a battle with me? Sure. Ruby, thank you. Okay, here I come. I should probably swap Jesse out from the front, but you know what? That's fine. We can just swap. We want to train up Wally, would like to battle. And send out a Ralts. Now, at level 16, I believe it will have fusion. So, we're going to swap to Daisy, who should be able to half whatever damage we take. Oh boy. Starting with double team. See how medical does. And a one shot. Nice. I lost. Uncle, I'll go back to Vert and Turf. Ruby, thank you. Being a trainer is tough, isn't it? Not enough just to have Pokemon and make them battle. That isn't what being a real trainer is about. Oh, it's no need to be so down on yourself. Why, what's keeping you from becoming stronger and stronger? Come on, let's go home. Everyone's waiting for you. Ruby, just throw it on me that you must be the trainer who kept an eye out for Wally when he caught his Pokemon. Why don't visit us in Vert and Turf sometime? I'm sure Wally would enjoy it. <laughs> I was watching that match. Your friends are that boy Wally, aren't you? You can hold anything back and beat him impressively. Yeah, that's what a real Pokemon battle's all about. I idolize trainers like that. I'll be cheering for you. Thank you. I think he registered us in Pokenev. What was his name? That's it, Scott. Thank you, Scott. Alright. So, I'm thinking, I'm gonna check online what level these two actually will level up, because if it's like 24 or something weird, I'm probably just gonna say, screw it, and let's go ahead and and uh, take on the gym. But if it like, you know, just two or three levels away, uh, I don't know the whether we go for the gym next episode, or if we're gonna go off exploring a bit, and hopes of fighting some extra people, and level them up enough to evolve. So, I'll let you know what we're doing, whether we're gonna be exploring around or facing the gym next time. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.